doesn't end this way, it can't. <laughs> is that what your magic fucking fairy visions say? Because it sure as hell doesn't look like we're getting out of here and... What? No. No, 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 it's okay. Something happens. Who the hell are you? <coughs> hey, where are you taking us? Who the hell are you people? All your questions will be answered when we reach Dr. Skurlock. <coughs> it's too late. We're not making it to any doctor. Stand down, or your people will die! You'll fucking die with them! I'm not threatening them, asshole! I'm trying to save them! The hell? What exactly is in this? Please, please, uh, do, do not fear. My name is Nathan Skurlock, xenobiologist. Uh, Dr. Abraham Zahidi, can you explain to Zahidi. us? Zahidi? Oh my, what an unexpected honor. I was a follower of your father's work, um, at least um, as long as was possible. I haven't uh, so much claim to fame. But as you can see, there is one breakthrough of mine that has served us rather well. Just tell us how it works. Uh, yes, yes, of course. My apologies. Um, the fungus wasn't always like this. Its DNA was altered. My formula merely tells the fungus against itself. Here, all who are brave enough to reach us are free to live in peace. My antidote must be injected daily. None of us dare stray far away from camp without it. We have a small ceremony each month. We're just in time for one. No alterns, I'm afraid. I hope that the rest of your convoy will attend this evening. We're not planning on staying long. Oh, beyond here, there's only death. Until the truck is repaired, we're stuck here anyway. Good. Thank you. Jakob. Mm. Look what I found in the forest. This was Cuthbert's. We've been here before. Well, shit. I thought things looked familiar. I thought it was Skurlock's drugs. But unless you can pull a spare oil pump from your ass, we're not going very far. We left a truck here before. That day the first storm hit. Maybe I can find it. Find it? That was 30 years ago. Not for me. I'm sure it wasn't easy, growing up with Jakob around, trying to be a dad. Believe me, he was the least of it. Being a kid in this fucking war. I've heard stories. I can imagine. <laughs> no, you can't. You know, you don't look much older than me, but I heard you got to magically jump over the past couple of decades. <laughs> Honestly, you've got no idea what it was like growing up in this non-stop bloodbath. You have any idea what it's like watching your whole fucking planet die? <laughs> no, shit. I'm sorry. You must have lost people. Yeah. Yeah. We all did. You see? I told you. I told you we'd make it through the forest alive. I mean, not that we're through yet, but we're not dead. These people ran away from the war. They're all fucking deserters. They saved our asses here. <laughs> you think Corrigan will give a fuck? We should just kill them all and save them the trouble. You're drunk. <laughs> so what if I am? I'd still do a better job at leading this cluster fuck of a convoy than you. 
sober up, or you'll stay with them. Fuck. Can't even slice your throat without it just healing up again. What'd you do, huh? To deserve all that power. How is that fucking fair? I can't go all the way with these people. I gotta just bring Corrigan something. Something so he'll let me come home. Whatever it is, Looks I got like what you're looking reports. for. And if I don't, I know somebody who can find it. And if they can't find it, shit, you probably don't need it that bad anyway. What can I get you? Hmm. That's a nice coat. You're an outrider. I thought they were all dead. <laughs> Not yet. Where did you steal it from? This old thing. My mother passed it to me. Her dad was an outrider. Oh, shit. Who was he? His name was uh, Jack Tanner. Knew him? Tanner was a good man. He was my captain. I saw him die. Trying to save us from landing on this godforsaken rock. It's an honor to meet you. Yeah, well, he's probably rolling in his grave about now, seeing what I've become. You buying something or what? Your father, Sergio Acosta. What happened to him? You know him? Only in passing. Well, he was smart enough to survive the jungle the first time, and dumb enough to give it a second try. And it was all my fault that he did. What happened? Look, uh, my parents were fucking possessive. I spent my whole life living in a stupid bunker, making the greatest sacrifice to protect humanity, they'd say. But you know what? <clears throat> they never told me what the hell we were protecting. <sighs> One day I had enough, so I ran. But my dad wouldn't let it go. He tried following me to find me, to save me. A fool's errand. Sounds like an outrider, all right. <sighs> Some time ago, the scout said he stumbled upon the remains of his expedition in the jungle. But I could never bring myself to go there. <sighs> but if you happen to find it, would you bring me back something of his for me? A picture of my mommy wore on a chain. I'll look for your father. Hey, you. Newbie. Over here. Everybody needs a little something-something, am I right? I'll give you a good deal. Now I know where to find Sergio Acosta. He probably has the bunker key with him. What if they're beasts, like those in the forest, disguised as you? Sure they are. You might be right. I walked past one in the trenches. It reeked like a monster and growled at me. And a buddy said he saw one sleeping in its lair. He swore he saw scaly skin down its back. And you know what monsters like to eat. Shit. I'm glad there's no altered here.
Hey, do you remember my tunes I used to play? Like it was yesterday. I can still remember some of them. <clears throat> Please stop, Jakob. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Jakob, I'm disconnected. <laughs> from Dr. Skurlock here. Don't get distracted. That's not what we're here for. But part of the reason we're here in the first place is to find a way out of the trenches for everyone. What if we brought the antidote back to Shira? We'd also bring the summary execution of everyone who makes the antidote. They're deserters, remember? Oh. Yes, I hadn't considered that. Hey, Mercer. How'd you survive it? Spending your whole life in a hole in the ground. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a life. I grew up in a cage. The first time I figured out how to open that front door, it was beautiful. After that, I was just a trapped animal, plotting my escape. Hey, your parents kept you safe. A lot of people would have happily traded places with you. Think I'd rather have a shorter life, up here in the fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> 